Hey, everybody. I hope you all are doing well in this uh, quarantine period. I uh, don't know about you, but I've just given up shaving because nobody cares. As you know, following my exploits, I've uh, been working up some weapon systems here to combat any real or imagined foes, uh, short, medium, long. But you know what I've been thinking, man? I haven't spoken to Andre in a long time, so I need to talk to Andre. Andre, my man, what are you doing, Dr. Destructo? How you doing, Terry? It's been a long time. What's going on? Where are you? What are you doing? I'm out in Montana. I'm uh, branding some cattle and hunting grizz, baby. <laughs> doing my part. Of, of course you are, but the real question is, have you blown anything up yet? I haven't. I need to get <clears throat> back to the big Hollywood and get busy. Yes, you're correct, sir. Hey, listen, man, I, I'm not as busy as you because you're always busy, but I've come up with a couple things, some weapon systems, Short, medium, long range, fixed weapons. Pretty cool, actually, with Larry's help. Terry, yeah. learning of a mobile. No. Back to the drawing board, buddy. Come on, you gotta be able to fight on the move. You know better than that. Zoom! Drat! How did I miss this? You're totally right, dude. What? <laughs> oh. All right, hey. and any suggestions? How about we go medieval? I have medieval. I figured you did. Mm-hmm. All right, man. You got me thinking, brother. I appreciate it. So happy to hear you're doing well, and I can't wait together and do some more mayhem, Dr. Destructo. I look forward to it, Terry. Good to hear from you, buddy. All right, brother. Stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye. You too. This is Hollywood Weapons. Okay, so my man Andre, smart guy as ever, gave me something to think about by hinting about going to medieval technology to develop this weapon. So, good sir. And now it's time for Terry's Medieval Knucklehead Science in quarantine. Fantastico. Okay, so no one loves medieval weaponry more than this guy. Let's talk about the crossbow. They've been around a long time. The Chinese had them like 600 BC. The Greeks used them. They called them ballistas. And of course, in the medieval times, crossbows were everywhere because what were they developed for? Well, exactly uh, right. You're exactly right. They were used to develop, they were developed to punch through armor. Now, of course, uh, crossbows are, they're heavy and they're sometimes hard to lug around. But what's good about them is they don't require a lot of skill. And again, what were they developed for? Well, they- Exactly, punching through armor. So. I'm gonna try to make one out of common household items, some pencils and some rubber bands. You got any questions, buddy? Yeah, I'm Good gonna... talking to you, fantastic as always. I will see you soon. Good day, sir. Shut off. I thought we were done. Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? No, it wasn't. I'm sorry. Listen, I was talking to Andre, and listen, he, he oh. exposed a couple of holes here. So I know you and I, in brotherly fashion, <laughs> have developed multiple weapon systems for long, medium, short range. But you know what? Andre pointed out that I don't have a weapon system to take out the enemy when I'm on the move. Okay, so it's, it's Andre that's been prompting you into doing all these things, right? So it's... He's off my holiday card list. And what enemy is it exactly that you're trying to fight, Terry? You bum me out. You kind of bum me out, because I feel like you might be sleeping at the wheel. Have you thought about an, an attack of the killer tomatoes, my friend? Does your HOA know that you're loose in the neighborhood? I don't know what a, what a HOA is, but listen, let me just get this done. Okay, so observe. Observe the... Terry I'm Shepard, I'm number, two, number two, a pen, uh, crossbow on the move. I'm working on the name, dude. Give me a break, all right? Yeah, work on it a little more, Terry. All right, so it's just sometimes it's hard to hit. I got to go find the, uh, the crossbow bolt. Yeah. I think it went down the... Dude, it's dead. Let me go get it. All right, going in three, two, one. Move the war dog. All right, that was really close. I'm going to give it one more try. Okay, so listen, I, uh, 
it worked. Maybe it kind of worked. I just have to fine tune it. Maybe put a scope on it. But listen, I've got it covered, Larry, because you know how this goes. Even if I can't hit it with a missile, I have a bayonet. So guess what, Killer Tomato? Done. You're welcome for your freedom, buddy. Yeah, you know what, Terry? You say tomato, I say tomato. Let's just call the whole thing off. That's fair. And I guess while you're calling it off, I'm just going to go ahead and look up what a HOA is. Hey, don't forget, Hollywood Weapons streaming on MOTV season one through three. And look for season four this summer. I'm going to go mount the scope on this crossbow. (laughs) 